welcome back to another Ember Sickles video. Today I'll be continuing the series I started yesterday about the Minecraft Dungeon secret levels. I'll be showing you how to find them in game and recording some gameplay. Before we, I start today, I should note that it seems Mojang has updated the software for Minecraft Dungeons on Nintendo Switch. The only difference I can seem to find is that for those of you who bought the Hero Edition, the Hero Cape now has a monster face on it with three eyes and a squiggly uh, little smile. So that's an interesting tidbit. Today's level will be found in Soggy Swamp. As always, whatever difficulty you want to do is good. Uh, I will be doing Adventure 1. Should note that this level is particularly difficult to find because it doesn't always appear in Soggy Swamp. There is a way to find out immediately when you get in the level if it'll be in it this time. Uh, but it's going to take you multiple tries. Believe me, it's taken many to get this video going. So it's perfectly normal. Once we get into the level, I will show you that method. Alright, here we go. Skip story. So, you're going to want to pull up your full screen map. If you're on the Nintendo Switch, uh, you want to hold your bottom arrow uh, button on your left Joy-Con. Now, you'll see here, uh, if it says secrets found, zero out of two. It's, if it says there are two secrets, that means that the level is going to be there. So, now that it's popped up we're going to start playing through the level so you're just going to want to play through it normally uh just so you know if you want to skip ahead a bit it's going to end up appearing after you get into the cave section so of course there's this first outside section and then there's a cave section in the middle of the level and so uh when that after you get out of that cave se section you can skip to that section uh if you want to speed it up a little bit but i am going to play through up until there it took me many many tries to get this set up, I'm going to speed run a little bit, get out of here. It took, but believe me, it took me many tries to get it to have two secrets here, uh, just even for this video. So, don't worry if it takes a little while. The level we're going to find is fairly short, um, but it does have a guaranteed. I believe they're called fancy chests, where it's majority, the majority of the chest is black. But it does have little diamond bits on it. I don't want to salvage that. Sorry. I was using these to get through the levels quick to make sure that uh, it would only appear with two secrets. Sorry about that delay. Let's keep moving on. So, of course, you know, you just want to run through this area defeating enemies. Let me spawn in my llamas. Oh, swiftness potion. That, that'll be good. I'll avoid a little bit of these guys here. Let's uh, use some arrows. I've always found Soggy Swamp particularly difficult because of the uh, of how many witches appear in it, and I just feel because their potions are just very troublesome when you're trying to deal with something up close like a slime or a creeper. Okay, so of course now we have to destroy the bruise, still in the uh, first section of the level. I'm going to skip past these slimes. This is a new layout that I'm used to, which is probably why I haven't been finding it before, but there we go. First bruise destroyed. I'm not going to destroy all these enemies, but you know. Um, whatever you find better to do, of course, if you want to, then totally go ahead. Sometimes it's a better idea, but there we go. I've gotten a swiftness potion. There we go. Oh, that's different, too. It now looks like your armor disappears as well when you get a shadow potion. I'm not sure if that happened before. Oh, better. I need to get out of here. Okay, I may have died. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully that won't happen again. It's definitely my bad. This is probably one of the levels I'm worst at, just because of how many witches there are. Alright, I'm going to head this way, because it looks like there's a brew over here. I'm just going to destroy that brew. Looks like we've gotten three out of five, and the other two are this way. Skip past these guys a bit. Looks like some are over here. Cut this one. And this area is especially uh, difficult because of how many uh, enemies there are. There's a huge mass of enemies here. Okay, here we go. And because uh, I am in the adventure difficulty, I believe there are going to be about, there are probably going to be too many bosses. Okay, so now we're in the second section. There's probably going to be too many bosses that spawn here. Um, sometimes there'll be Endermen. There are probably going to be Endermen if you're in default. 
but if you are in adventure, some of them might be skeleton horsemen, so we'll have to see how that turns out. Okay, we got an Enderman here. Want to slow him down there. Endermen are really dangerous up close. They can deal a lot of damage. It's very good if you have spawnables to distract him, because he will also go for those. Sometimes they'll disappear for a while. I'll get a treasure pig here. Ooh, looks like some uh, mystery armor. Another apple. Getting damaged a bit here. He is appearing right here. Okay, he's going to disappear. I'm just going to try and deal some final damage here. There we go. We were able to kill him. But let's do this. So again, if you're in this shadow section, there are some areas that are going to give you some good loot. But uh, I will also say that uh, if you want to hurry through here, there are faster pathways. So, because remember, the secret level is not going to be in this area. So you don't have to worry about that. You can just go through this area as fast as you want. Ah, misuse of TNT. Sorry if the gameplay is just not as good here. I just find difficulty with this level sometimes. Should be good. The level we're about to find, again, is fairly short, but it's pretty interesting, I would say. Alright, moving down here. Looks like we're most most of the way through, I believe, this uh, cave area. Kind of skip through that witch. I believe once we get to the end, a mini-boss will be spawning, so we'll probably get another mini-boss soon. For Enderman, I usually recommend, you know, dealing bows, having some spawnables there for him to attack while you can do the bows. Alright, we'll get rid of these slimes. One interesting deviation I've noticed, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but um, with slimes, when you're playing in normal Minecraft, the smallest uh, size of slime will not actually be able to damage you, but in this game, they are still able to do damage. So that's a little interesting thing right there. Heal ourselves up. Looks like we're about to be done. I'm going to skip past these zombies and the slime. Get through here. Looks as if we are very close. Ah, yes. This is probably where the second mini-boss will spawn. Or at least usually does. It looks like we might not have gotten a second mini-boss, but know that normally you will probably have a mini-boss there if you're playing through the level. And again, there's a lot of other chests and emeralds in there. We've just skipped through them. All right, now you're going to want to pull up your map again with the bottom arrow button, but you don't need full screen this time. You're just going to want to have it open there so that you can find it. Even though we're outside, I will say that uh, the, the level shouldn't appear until you found the next supply station. So with the large chest that's going to give you bread and arrows. You should be fine. Uh, the level shouldn't be appearing until after that. But I would keep on the lookout just in case anyways. We'll use some arrows here. Skip past that slime. It looks as if there's a chest there. We might not be able to get that one. Okay. I can skip through here. Take care of this witch. Slime spawns so many things. It can be very distracting, I, I think, a lot of the time when a slime is spawning in a ton of stuff and you just can't see which enemies you're fighting at one moment in time. Uh, looks like it wants us to go this way, so there doesn't seem to be a lot there. I am going to check it out just in case, but uh, you should be good if you don't check out all the little, little hidden areas. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. There is a chest there, but I'm not going to bother getting it right now just because of time restraints. Gonna hurry through this area. It looks like we're almost at the supply station. I think, yes. So once you come across an area like this with the supplies, it's gonna give you bread. Now you really wanna be on the lookout because the level should be appearing soon after this. So I would, this is why you wanna have your map open just to know if any paths are going out of the area a little bit. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Once we get through this a bit, We'll find, there's a lot to go through here, so I'm going to make sure all the areas are looked at. A lot of, a lot of villains to deal with here. Uh, let me spawn in my other llama. 
doesn't seem ah so you see something like this is going to pop up so you're in you're you'll be in an area similar to this i don't it, the the area itself can vary but you'll be in some sort of large area and you can see a path that's like jutting off and going down a bit so you're going to want to follow this path on the map you can you can see what it looks like on the map if i'll put if i pull it up full screen you can see it's something like uh that little jut off shouldn't be too big and you'll see little portal right here so it'll look like uh again something like ruins little thing here it should look the same no matter what you're doing so of course you're going to travel there if i pull up the map again you'll see it's just a little area you're going to want to defeat these guys you'll appear in this section of course and then right here there's more just want to check out over here ah yes so there's a beacon here that you're going to need to press, and it'll spawn an ambush when you try and do that. So, of course, defeat the ambush, as always, whenever you're trying to get one of these. Always defeat the ambush. This one doesn't have much cover, which is a little frustrating, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty good. I am happy that we don't have any illagers with crossbows spawning here. Those are always a nuisance. Looks like mostly just zombies and skeletons. A few uh, vindicators here and there. Of course, we have apples and such, so I'm going to go get apples and then a piece of TNT. Oh, if you look, strange glitch here that's happening. The TNT is very off my head. I don't know if that's intended. I suppose it matters where you pick it up, but yeah, no, it looks like a glitch. The TNT is off a little bit, so that's fun. I have a, I have a, it's like when you find two goldfish crackers attached to each other. Alright, now that we've beaten the ambush, we want to uh, fire the beacon up, so this, uh, yeah, and the gateway will open, you'll be able to go into this area. And of course, as always, little map here. Normally, I think you, I believe there would be a map, because I've already found the save data, it's not there. But you would want to pick that up, and you would then get the save data for it. So again, right here where I'm tapping between those two, there should be a map on that pedestal. So pick up that map. And you'll need to solve not even a puzzle, just bring that thing up. This gate will happen. There, there are going to be puzzles similar to that in the level, which I will show you in a second. So, of course, you exit back out here, but because we've already found it, I'm just going to return to camp. And I'll show you some gameplay of that level. Now, it's called Soggy Cave. So, it's very similar in terms of enemies and what it's going to look like to Soggy Swamp, but most of it takes place in kind of the inside underground area. Which is different from the other one. So let's uh, enter through there, shall we? Soggy cave. So your minimum, as always, it's going to be one higher than the minimum for the other one. So I'm just going to do the minimum because it's what it feel like. Seems to be the easiest. So I've noticed all the secret levels do have the same picture when it says traveling to. So as it, if you'll notice from the last video, the creepy crypt had the same picture as that. So all the secret levels, that's how you'll know it's a secret level. Of course, also, from their viewing on the map, the color is a little different selecting it. Alright, so we can see that we've pulled up by this boat, and it wants us to find the Lost Ruins. So already you can see that the environment is very similar uh, to the one there. Uh, we got a lot of enchanted skeletons. You probably won't find these enchanted ones, or at least as many if you're playing in default, but uh, they, they seem pretty easy. You just double damage, that's a not a great enchantment. So there we go. Um, you can just see it's very similar. It's almost the exact same setting as Soggy Swamp, which is to be expected from a secret level most of the time. Uh, all right, we're gonna speed along some of these guys and uh, just take out these witches. Gonna take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Okay. Gonna take through here. And if you're wondering about any strange things that seem to be happening be, uh, to the enemies, it's usually because of my summon, uh, my enchantments on this. So any extra attacks or quick ones from the glaive are because of those enchantments. If you see enemies being stunned, that's because of the snowball enchantment. And my, um, and then over here you've got tempo theft, where I steal some speed from enemies when I hit them, and of course piercing. And then lastly, final shout, when I'm at a below 20% health, my artifacts are automatically used to get me out. Okay, so those are those are just some effects in case you were confused about uh, why the enemies were reacting the way they were to my attacks. 
The snowball one I find is especially good because it's going to stun a ton of enemies for you and makes it especially a lot easier to deal with witches. Okay, looks like we're making some progress. There's not actually, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's no secret pathways for the most part in this level, uh, as opposed to Creepy Crypt, which had quite a lot. It's a very short level, and it's very straightforward. There's no, there's no secret pathways or anything. You're just going to, what you see is what you're going to deal with. So we got this here. Got some armored zombies here. Pick up another TNT. Ah, uh, okay, and this is the place you're going to find. There's two puzzles here that you're going to want to deal with. So this area is blocked. And so there's four gateways, but you're going to want to go through these top two that don't have doors. Because those are the ones that will allow you to do the puzzles. So you can see it's one big area uh, that you can walk around. In this level, there's two ambushes and two puzzles uh, that you'll go through uh, to get the fancy chest, I believe. So this is the first one. I always like to go in this corner, but um, whatever area suits you best is good. They're the, they will be summoned basically everywhere in this general area. There's a couple randomized sections, so there is uh, there are multiple areas that you can get for the ambush, but there will always be two ambushes and two puzzles. And the puzzle types are almost always... Uh, sometimes you'll have the same puzzle type, um, and then sometimes you'll have two different ones, but at max you'll only have two different puzzle types. I'm low on health here. We'll deal with those guys over there. Ah, oh, I died. My bad, guys. Sorry, these are not my best type of levels. Hope you don't mind that I'm dying occasionally. I'm trying to do my best here. Alright. We are gonna get back up here where we were before. Maybe fire some arrows at the witches down there. Steal some tempo. Kill that. Deal with the slime up here, I think. It's good. It looks like there are some skeletons over there. I want to get them. I'll pick up this shadow potion, which is going to be useful. To get right where the witches are and get them dealt with. As you can see, some of the witches are being stunned by my uh, snowball effect on my ember robe, which is very good. Alright, there we go. Looks like we have beaten the ambush. They're pretty simple. You should probably be able to beat them if your power is equal or more. So as you can see, this is one of the two types of puzzles. They're all this same kind, but in this one you can see we have five. So pressing this button moves them over one, as you can see. Moves everything over one uh, to the right. Pressing this one moves them all, each one over to the left. Now this one's good. This one moves uh, the two as you can see, the second and fourth empty spaces. And this one moves all three. So you can see if I move these so that it's all even, then this, this one over here will move all three of them. So what you're going to want to do is get all three of these set up and then move this so that there is, I believe, an empty space here. Then you'll press this one. No, oh, sorry, that's my mistake. Sorry, I have some Joy-Con drift issues. There we go. So you'll want to get it so that you have one there. So if I can reverse it here, you can see that there's two empty slots there. Because this one moves all three, you end up having... Oh, sorry. Not that one. My bad. You end up having one more up than before. And then you're going to want to push these again so that the one empty spot is in the middle. So you can see it's in the middle right there. Uh, and then out of the two inner buttons, you're going to... It doesn't really matter which one. You'll press one. And then you'll press the other. And that will have fixed the puzzle. I hope that was clear. Uh, I'm trying to do this as best I can. And then this gateway will open up, and as you can see, you can go out here. So now that you've beaten that puzzle, you're halfway through to getting this down. As you can see, there was two walls, now one of them's down. So you're going to go and go into this one. Yes, so this is uh, the second out of, I, I believe, three or four different uh, layouts that you can use that uh, sorry randomly appear for the ambush. There's always going to be an ambush. As always, I like to go in this corner here. But the enemies appear in a greater variety uh, in terms of areas. This is a bigger area in general, I think, for this type of thing. For this ambush. Um, fire both of those. Hopefully we can get some. There we go. That, that was some good damage. Uh, taking out some of these. We got some guys going over here. want to deal with them. I'll spawn in my llamas. Alright, we can do, we dealt with that witch. Let's get this creeper out of the way. And then these need dealt with. It looks like the ambush is over. We just need to kill the remaining ones. So, 
Yes. So we just gotta deal with these. You can push some enemies off if you have the ability. It looks like we've got all them going through the bridge down here. And I believe you can fall off this, so if you are if you are using an artifact such as the light feather that's going to let you jump, be careful not to jump off of this area. Uh, you're probably just going to want to walk around for the most part. And then last two guys right here are going to deal with the skeleton, and hopefully we can push him off. I think we can... Come on. Okay, there we go. We did push his offspring off. <laughs> so we are going to cross the bridge, and you can see, luckily, we it appeared both types. So you'll either have one with a gap of three or a gap of five. The gap of three is much more simple. This left button is going to move the middle one, and this other one, well, actually, I'll have to move this. This other one moves everything you have up to the, to the, sorry, to the left. So once we move that to the left, we're going to have this go up once more, and then move another one to, uh, that one moves it to the right, put it in the middle. That one's pretty simple. You would probably be able to figure that out for yourself. So that's a good simple one. And so now you can see we've beaten both of the puzzles. Uh, and this opens up. So we are able to get, as I've been talking about, the fancy chest. So it's going to give you some good stuff. That was actually quite a good draw. A lot of the times it'll give you a unique weapon. It didn't that time, but it did give us uh, both an artifact and daggers, which is really good. So we're going to take the daggers first and then the fishing rod, which are both, both great. That's a good... Uh, got an artifact that's pretty rare from a chest so that's that's a good draw take a shadow you just want to it says explore the ruins you're really just going to want to move up until you get here again no secret passageways it's just very simple and here it may look like a big area but this is actually what you've crossed before so as it says return to the boat you're just going to want to fall down here tap the boat to exit and you've beaten the level as i've been talking about very short level uh but it's somewhat difficult to find so i hope this guide was useful and, uh, yeah, have a great day.